<laughs> Look what I'm doing. Trying Jolly Bee for the first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a pineapple. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is literally one of the most embarrassing stories, but <laughs> I went to Sundance with my sister. The Sundance Film Festival is held in Utah annually every year. So I'm with my sister. I travel to Utah. My sister was working. So she um, had tickets and I wanted to go because I love film. So <laughs> a little too sweet for me. I couldn't eat it all the time. No, that's how Filipino spaghetti is supposed to be, but it's very good interested in seeing films or if you're a film buff it's a great time to go because you can see the films before they're out in the theaters or even if they're ever picked up because some of these films aren't picked up but you see them there mm. so you can buy the tickets online in advance and you want to do that because the tickets sell out they're at all hours of the day right so they can start the films can start at 10 a.m and end at midnight so this particular day during the festival i'm like i'm gonna see as many films as i can but I got there too late. All the tickets are sold out. But there's one film left and it's called Hereditary. I don't know anything about it. I just know that Toni Collette is starring in it and I love her. So I'm like, I'm going to go see it. It's got to be a good film. I don't check that it's a horror film. Okay. The adobo rice. So let's try that before I finish my story. Ooh, that's a lot of flavor in that. Ooh, it tastes like brothy. I don't oh, that's good. So I meet up with my sister at the end of the day and we go to our favorite sushi restaurant in Park City. It's so good. And afterwards I tell her, hey, I got tickets to go see Hereditary at midnight. She's like, that's late. I got to work in the morning. But if you really want to go see it, I'll see it with you. But then when she looks up, because you have a catalog and you can see what the movies are about, she says, Kina, this is a horror film. You don't like horror films. In fact, you detest horror. In fact, you're scared of horror films. <laughs> I said, I have to see it. It's in the, one, it's in the Egyptian theater, which is an iconic theater in Park City, Utah during Sundance. I have to see it. Anyway, I tell my sister I'll be fine. She says, okay, now I don't want to have to leave this theater in the middle of it. I said, no, we won't. We go back to our hotel. We rest. We get up around 10 o'clock. We get to the theater because you have to be in the theater a couple hours before, even though it's three degrees outside, y'all. You got to wait if you want to get a good seat and you don't want to be sitting in the back, okay? We don't sit at the back anymore. Black people to the front. It's 2024. <laughs> So we get to the theater and we have to wait outside. It is freezing cold. When I tell you, it is freezing cold. My sister is the best sister ever. So once the doors open, it's a mad rush to the seats. Everyone does it calmly, but you are kind of making your way hastily to your seats. So you can get the seats you want. So we sit in the middle and we sit on the outside. And I think we're like, I'm the fifth person in the row, right? So there's five people on the right side of me, of my sister and myself. So my sister and I are talking. I'm looking around. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to see this film. And at the film, everyone is there. The entire cast, the producers, the directors, the actors everyone is there so it's a really fun experience it's about 30 minutes before the film starts the actors come out and the producer comes out and the director comes out now the director comes out and he starts to talk about the hereditary film and and how he created it he says hereditary is not like anything you will ever have witnessed not only that but the dread that is created in this film okay is significant in the way that i want it to follow you once you leave this theater it Anybody, anybody I look around. I'm like, y'all didn't hear what this man just said. He said he wants dread to follow you through your life. I, 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 that's what I heard anyway. He didn't say just like that, but that's what I heard. Everybody else in the theater is acting like it's normal, right? I must be sitting amongst my enemies <laughs> because how do you explain you guys not reacting to the, the guy next to me was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the best scary movie. I love it. You love dread, sir. I said, serial killer. Keep an eye out on him. Okay. Because why are you, <laughs> why are you talking about dread, sir? What is happening? The way my mental health is set up, right? Um, dread is not calculated in my mental health, okay? I deal with positivity and joy, okay? I like, I want limited struggle and negativity in my life. So once he said that, I said, I need to get up. I, I, I need to get up because I don't know what I'm about to sit here and witness. That's what he said. The dread in this film that you will experience, I want it to sit and stay with you and I want it to follow you when you leave this theater. I heard he wants spirits to follow me and I said, uh-uh, nope, mm -mm, nope. But did I get up? Nope, because I had stood in line for two hours. It was Tony Collette. It was Hereditary. I was at the Egyptian theater. I was in Sundance. Only film I was able to see so I I sat there y'all I, I said a prayer I said Jesus cover me and I and I sat there okay the director is done with his speech I feel fear okay already entering the theater the lights go down the music starts to play I hear this ominous music get up girl it's not for you you gotta get up <laughs> I should have got up <laughs> and the movie begins here's where everything just went wrong really the little girl comes out she's the first um actor to appear on the screen and all of a sudden this shadow happens and you just see her outline y'all when i saw that and then you hear this like breath behind it i said ain't for me the way at which i jumped out of my seat <laughs> it said i can't do it out loud too i forgot where i was i was so embarrassed i said i can't do it 
I jumped out of my seat. I jumped over the five people. My sister ran after me. I am positive those people in the theater was like, oh, this is this is part of the experience. OK, we we've already scared somebody. She's part of the act. Right. She's the 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 sixth character in the movie because <laughs> of the way I ran out. OK, I ran out so fast like I was competing in the Olympics. I, I, I looked not back, okay? I looked not back because I, I said, I don't even want to see whatever else is on that screen. I looked at that little girl again. I'm looking around the theater and I said, I am telling you right now, that little girl back there is not real. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Not only did I run so fast that I made a scene that people were like, what's going on? Sister was so embarrassed. I apologized to her so many times. I was so embarrassing for her because I made a scene and I don't usually do that. <laughs> you don't go to scary movies when you and I ain't even seen nothing really I know some of y'all listening to the story like girl that was nothing like what do you mean what were you scared of that I can't do it my imagination goes crazy I said it's not for me and so I got up I left well I didn't get up gracefully I, as I said I ran out <laughs> out of the theater when I got out there the attendants were like you okay I said I don't know what happened but I gotta go I, it's, this movie is not for me and then we got in an Uber and my sister and I went home and just watched some TV and ate some snacks <laughs> but this is why you if you go to Sundance, make sure you read what those films are about, okay? The director should be talking about dread leaving with you. What kind of mess is that? Anyway, go to Jollibee because it's really good. It was my first time trying it, but it was very, very delicious.